Hello everybody, my name is V Narendra Kumar and we are from NRK Academy. Today in the series of Master Education on the primary level, a basic holistic approach, a new approach, a new holistic approach. We have math and sciences. They are very deeply linked. The first thing would be numbers. Numbers are everywhere. Measurements and numbers of dimensions are everywhere. What do I mean by dimensions? Let us take 10 things. You take a pencil. It has already a dimension. It has got length. It has got some circularity, small circularity. See, it has got colors, really. It is light or dark. There is measurement inherent in things and inherent in things, especially concrete things, are dimensions. Dimensions. There is a... Every object or everything has a qualities, right? It has got a color that will be in a degree, right? light yellow dark yellow it'll be like a spectrum then you have <coughs> length or width weight you know uh, dimensions weight volumes areas you go to a room you could talk about the room so this again has to be initiated this is a syllabus a child must have at least once observed carefully the room you know the height and you know and it need not be done in a boring way of course this is about the syllabus not how we are doing it I'm not talking about how we're doing it again. Again, I repeat. And then you can have counting. And counting is not about counting is not about abstract one, two, three, four. After one, two comes to no, 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 it's not like that. Counting is degree. You, there's nothing like two. What is two? It doesn't mean anything. Two apples I can understand. Two feet I can understand. See, so counting is deeply linked to uh, to to. The, actually, there's only one. What is one? One one of something. So if I give an example, it will be very easy. Three meters means what? There is one meter. There's a specific this, this much distance, a certain distance, a, sorry, certain length, which is one meter, three feet, one, th three plus feet, one meter. So two meters will be double, three, four, five, see? So even when you are measuring lengths and volumes, you require a unit as the same physics. So we have lengths, we have widths, we can have areas, we can have volumes, we can have big and medium and small, we can have grades of colors, we can have heights, weights, ages, time, time. Two minutes is different from five minutes. Mathematics is everywhere. We're going to have another series of primary mathematics of four videos that you're going to have to check out in that. And we've gone a little bit of, little, not, not, quite a lot of detail we have put it there. But I think you've got the cue. Every educator who is listening to this has got the cue. Educator, teacher or a parent. Time, shape, sizes of everything. Everything has a size. Everything has a shape. Everything has a volume or area or length. Everything has some color, which is great. See, in each thing, whole maths comes. The basic maths. And of everything. Now let's talk about everything also. Which everything we are talking about? Clothes we can talk about, bowels we can talk about, pencils and doors and houses and everything. Cars, big cars, small cars. You see, if you have all this, if you go through these videos two, three times and you meet a child, you exactly know what to do also. By instinct you will know how we can convert every single situation into some observational, experiential, interesting learning which leads to a question, which leads to a hunger and Without knowing Monday, you will see this child has become, people say from, this, they say it is in genes or it is in this or that. It could be to an extent, but definitely there is a hardware in a child, but the software which finally comes out becomes mediocre. That should not happen. That is the tragedy of the modern world, which is why we are calling this a new holistic approach, a passionate approach to education. Clothes and bowels and pencils and doors and houses, actually all things all the things of the world even while in geography you show the moon you can talk about the moon it's so big but moon is smaller than earth concretize it in fact this whole thing is not only in the primary level it goes to higher level it, it the whole of your life is that a professional does what a professional sportsman does what it's a keen observation it's a it's a it's a discipline of doing something what does a surgeon do so much of knowledge he has in his mind, detailed, specific knowledge. That's a, that's the passion. That's the love. He falls in love. You cannot understand the, the emotion of a surgeon, the person, a, a expert surgeon. You cannot understand the emotion of a musician. But broadly, we can understand. He must be feeling that kick of doing the complex, simple thing. Complex, simple means you, that whole knowledge is reduced to something, and he's enjoying that, the use of that. That is work, isn't it? 
So all observational, it must be, I'm using the word pointed out in a broad way. How do you point out? That is the creativity of each educator. That's where the educator becomes creative. And how does an educator become creative? That will address, will address every single question which every single um, educator or teacher or parent would ask. And uh, this goes on till 12, 12 videos. And we can also have approximations. It's not that always you have to say, um, he's fat, is also fine, he's, he's little less, little more, more or less. These words are there in the English language. So approximation is also okay. Even, even approximately a uh, uh, um, room would be, uh, my room is a nice small study room. So it's, it's, it, 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 it has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like 12 by 14. So 12 by 14, we all know 12 by 14 feet, how much it is. So it didn't, I, if I really measure it, it might be 12 point something or 13. But approximation is very important. It gives a picture of, uh, of comparative integration, differentiation integration, more or less. These are very deep things. Third, phenomena around that are directly observable. Uh, we are coming to now sciences. What are the phenomena we observe? We observe light mirrors, concave mirrors and convex mirrors. We actually observe concave mirrors and convex mirrors in the bike. But we go through the whole life never realizing that the bike's mirror is actually not a plane mirror. The, it, it isn't written there, it's written there also. Things appear nearer than they are. Concave and convex mirrors and lenses. You, have all, you can even have these funny mirrors where it is not really properly made. A bad mirror is very good for children because they, their face becomes small, their body becomes big. You have this, in our childhood we used to have this exhi exhibitions where you used to be a big mirror and we used to stand in front of them and there goes my head small and the, my f stomach used to become fat because the mirror is not plain. Once the child gets, and you can even touch there and see that it's not plain, it's like curved a little. Once the child observes, he experiences it simply, he gets the question. Even if he can't tell it, it he the observation is the question and the question is the answer. Rainbow. I love rainbows. I remember once in Hyderabad, uh, the children, it was a school, a homeschool kind of thing, and we were in the terrace. Suddenly, a thick rainbow came. Thick. It was uh, so close. Every color was clearly differentiated. Even I was screaming. It was so wondrous. If It was so wondrous to me, because as an educator, I'm a little more sensitive to things around. How much more it will be to a child? We, one can never understand a child. We have crossed that stage, so we have forgotten it. During the child childhood, it is a magical period, as they say, where the child is receptive. So all colors, you can show the eyes, actually eyes. You know, have you ever thought that the eyes, and we have never, never looked into the eyes, the into the into the eye, the, the iris and all that. All via, all, and this word all is very good. All doesn't mean infinite. So only so much we can see the ear and the nose and the, the smell and you know, the everything what is around us only we have to observe that is the inductive approach and just to give you an idea that inductive approach actually changed the world once man understood why aristotle earlier and then later the science development and later the asking all the questions mankind took a leap and we have this extraordinary wondrous world we have today motion on smooth surfaces it will be different rough surface it will be different in inclined place it will be different at various angles see this is all part of physics but you cannot go into higher physics without the observa observational base, sufficient observational base of lower physics. Floating, sinking. Many times we think that something will sink and it doesn't sink. Many times we, many times we think that it will float, it doesn't float. You can even ask why some bodies, you can make a small um, iron ship, small one, and it will float. But the nail will not. How comes? Observation. But you don't do it abstractly. He just naturally observes. Swimming, yeah, swimming is a wonderful activity for physics, for sciences, fast, slow, falling of things, even falling of things, really, falling of things, how it falls in the inclined plane, how it, how things fall, how if it's falling from a great height it bursts, all this feeling should all be felt observationally, uh, kite flying, drones and birds, birds are very, very, very beautiful to observe. I can guarantee you have not observed birds. I mean, in terms of probability, I'm not telling everybody has not observed birds. 
But most of us go through life in such a busy way. If you see a bird, the way it glides, goes up, goes down, it is very, very fascinating. Observing all kinds of motion and naming them, describing them. Many people, many educators have written that you have to only describe, point it out, describe. That's it. Feel at home with the universe, the earth and the world, everything. And observe deeply, keenly. A keen observation is the question. And that is the answer. And the hunger to know the answer. And naming them. Again, some more examples. Obviously, I'm not, I cannot exhaust all the examples here. But remember, this is not infinite examples. Now, if you look at concrete, there are infinite examples. But if you can essentialize, you know, if you can do a little bit of study of the sciences, you can very easily essentialize which observational base is needed to finally get the abstract concepts. To know the abstract concept of universal law of gravitation is not easy without the... In fact, it is impossible also in universal law of gravitation because that was arrived at with the observation of the planets, of, the, of the, the motions of the planets in the sky. Many people don't know that. We, we learn abstractly. And we don't have any alternative. Of course, some of the people go into science, become very great scientists. They actually, they don't tell, but they start going deeper into better books, deeper books. They also use the telescope. And surely a scientist in NASA knows in a different way than a person who has just studied a school level, you know, astronomy. Stretching rubber bands, swings, giving some examples, moving in circles, how light and heavy bodies move. How light and heavy bodies move in a circle also. The difficulty of moving a heavy body in gradations, you can have a small body, it's tough to move. For a small child, these are very, very, very important observations. I'm not talking about high, high school level, I'm talking about primary level. When I talk about primary level, I'm talking of nursery level, LKG level, UKG, first, second, third, fourth. Motion of moon across the sky in the night. So you can take some pictures or you can actually have a night out and see how the moon is moving in the sky. How many people know that the moon is moving in the sky? I didn't know until I grew up. One of the things which happened to me when I grew up is that I came to know these things and sun via videos or directly. Videos are very useful, telescopes are very useful and the selection of videos can be done very very well. Then sound, pitch, uh, uh, girls have different sound, boys have different sound, volume, uh, uh, quality of sound, quality. Let them observe that mother's sound is you know, we take this for granted. You might some some people might say, "What is so great about these sounds?" It is great because a mother. You should, if you observe, it is a beauty in the mother's voice. You close your eyes and you can know the sound of the person. And a simple activity can be done also. Two things banging. Any two different things will have different sound. See, of course we know it, but if you observe, why, why, why? This is a different sound. This is a different sound. This is a different sound. See. Sounds are different when two different things are banging. Musical notes, this is wonderful and you can have great fun, unlimited fun with the notes. Small keyboard you take or a big keyboard also you take and you just play with it. That playing with it is also only music. And sometimes you will get it. If so, suppose a boy or a girl has a natural talent for singing. Who knows? The childhood and education can be absolute fun, full of surprises. Girls' voices, boy voices, boys' voices, older people's voices, now weak voices. See, actors know that when you're tired, you get a certain kind of voice. When you're angry, you're a different kind of voice. There is actually a music in all emotional expressions. That can be used. Here, it is all about observation. What is happening all around us? What is happening all around us? That's all. Sounds we can make. Sorry. And you can play with this also. How beautiful it is. It's almost classical. That the singing. How much fun children can have. Children have crazy fun doing these things. Feelings and by observations. Pitch, volume, quality, mics, recordings his own voices, all voices of people around, keen observations. And this is just a cue. You can add many, many more things here. And then you have electricity and magnetism. You can have switch on a primary dangers of current, magnets, poles, many more things. Observing patterns made by iron filings around a magnet. Things run by electricity. Fan is running by electricity. TV, AC, you can open the TV, you can open the fan and show it the motors and everything. 
all lights, all observations, all naming of things connected to electricity and magnetism. You can go to a power station, you can see the turbines. You can make a dynam dynamo. When I was young, we used to have this. I don't know why they don't have it now in cycles. When you pedal, that mechanical movement brings about an electric current. That is the principle of how we get power. Then touch, heat and chemistry. Hot, cold, rubbing hands, more rubbing, more heat. Hot, cold at various times of the year. Sun gives heat, heat is required for cooking. Cooking and the kitchen can be seen as um, changes. All the chemical changes actually happen in the kitchen. Making all kinds of dishes and observing changes. You know, <laughs> Chemistry is all about observing changes, permanent changes. Things burn, be becomes rust, for example. Changes while cooking, observing and naming, naming as much as possible. In biology, we have seeds becoming flowers. Biology is so fascinating. Oh my God. Dif in fact, one wonderful thing to do with biology. We have David Eikenberg videos, things like that. One wonderful thing we can do is show as many kinds of species, but while showing them, show how they are adapted to their surroundings. Why deep sea fish? Deep sea fishes, where there's no light, have large mouths and they're always putting their mouth up because they can, there's no life there to eat. All the things which are, the dead fish come and fall into their mouth. That's how they evolved. And they have light in their heads because they can't see in the dark. If the child observes that, he'll be a Darwin. Seeds becoming flowers, evaporation, time it takes for amounts of water. You put little water, how much time it takes to evaporate. You put more water. Take out a cold um, bottle of water from the fridge, keep it on the table, you'll see water coming around, droplets coming around the bottle. See? <laughs> that is condensation, opposite evaporation. It is rain. That is the rain. And then you connect to train. Child will be wondering, I'm almost imagining a young child, maybe a fourth class. He says, wow, this is amazing. Just rain and this is the same. That is how a child in young age, though he doesn't tell outside, becomes a scientist. Beauty of patterns of flowers, red sun, morning and evening, yellow and daytime, night, moon, stars, telescopic observations, this connect to biology also, sorry, geography, plus videos, all kinds of insects, reptiles, fishes, cat family, a family, oh my god, that where you cannot even exhaust it. So you can do the selections, elephants and deer and bear. Let him observe in childhood as much as possible because that impression leaves not just a sensory impression, it leaves in his mind to want to go deeper because it leaves an impression in his mind, a sense of wonder, a question. See, what is a question? It's wonder. You know, like your child observes that the moon is getting cut it's crescent one day, it's full moon one day, it's no moon, uh, new moon, no moon at all. And if if you if he directs his gaze at that, there will be a question, why? Why? How comes it's like that? And then the answer is there. See? The answer is there. The problem is answer is there. Questions are not there. It's very, very, it's, it might sound strange, but really that's the problem. We don't have the questions. And so it, I personally believe it's not a big deal. In fact, Personally, if I even talk to a receptive child with a little bit of cooperation, if he talks to me for two, three weeks, I want to ask every day, he gets quite a lot of transformation. He just starts seeing the world in a different way. That's what happened to me when I was a little late, but it happened. But people, 99 percent of people go through the whole life and that doesn't happen to them. That is a sadness. And that's why we have so much of mediocrity in the world, so much of um, stupidity on every level of society. Variety of humans also. Yeah. Africans look different. Koreans look different. Chinese look different. Why? First let them see that they are different. Then the question comes in their mind. And all parts of the body. Inside, outside. With videos. Mouth watering. Mouth is watering. Taste. All kinds. Observing breathing. I think by now you have got the sense. You can pause here. Now you have got the sense. By now. If you have seen the videos from the beginning that it is all around us, education is all around us, but we, we, we require something that will address in the last. Observing breathing, you just sit, observe when you are tired, how the breath comes. This is the whole Anapana Satya of Buddha, all kinds, heartbeat, and wrist beats, videos of blood, heart, a bit of inside stomach, you can go take him to the hospital, you can see, you can see the x-rays, 
showing similar things in dogs and cats, lizards, caterpillar, caterpillar, butterfly, all kinds of plants, bushes, trees. What is the syllabus in biology in 11th and 12th? All this only. But they are taught in, in an abstract way without a proper observational, experiential, wonderstruck base. Without that, if you learn the higher, some higher abstract concepts, they will remain abstract. You will not know why you are learning. You will in fact curse everybody. Finally do a job in a, in a very limited way, a compartmentalized way. We are life feeling, you know, feelings. So lives, and just for fun, I've written that. Uh, that. We'll stop here. I think you got the cue about sciences and maths and physics and chemistry broadly. The what. Next we go into paint. Thank you so much.